Let's go ahead and switch on over to the defense. What do they need to do to win on Sunday night? Coach Jones. Yes, sir. You, boy, man. Yes, sir. First and foremost, on that first drive, we got to get a flag. Like, we got to set the tone right away. We got to get a flag. Like, like uh, <laughs> Pascal walking by Aaron Rodgers need to, huh, and just push him down. Like, we need to set the tone early. And, and like, and I know that's a, oh, no, he, no. Nah. This is the black and blue division. This is the NFC Central. The and this is the, the NFC Central. So, you know what I'm saying? So, I'm talking about you got to get one of the flags in the first drive that's not going to affect the game. And you're walking by Aaron Rodgers. Hit him in the chest, knock him down. You know what I'm saying? Let him know and look at him like you know what time it is, right? Okay, I was just checking because it ain't it ain't none of that old man. And uh, you know what I'm saying? Like you you gotta you gotta set the tone, man. But um, it, it, I mean I'm no, being do for real. I'm being for real. I'm I'm that type of dude, man. So um, but you know what? There's one thing that's really telling of the Packers. Um, in the last uh, five games is Aaron Rodgers has thrown for under 200 yards in three of those games. Yep. So that means they've been running the ball more. He He's thrown for 140, 182, and 159 yards in three of the last five games. So they've been pounding the ball, mm -hmm. um, which, which basically is strength on strength. Our strength is our D-line. Their strength right now is running the ball. So um, you know, it it's gonna be it's gonna be it's gonna be one of these. It's gonna be one of these. You know, um it's it's gonna be tough, man. We really gonna have to have our linebackers involved in this game. Um I really I really don't think this is a two linebacker game. Uh maybe maybe if we do run the five two, because we were successful. Um and that's the defense that I ran in high school where you have the two the two ends standing up and then you go nose tackle and then uh, tackles over the guards and then the two ends on the outside shade of the, of the tackle or the tight end. And I, I like that defense, man. Um, I like that defense, but I think we do need to mix up with the 4-3. Uh, we do need to have Barnes, Anzalone, and Rodrigo out there. Um so yeah, man. But we 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 got the game plan, man. Um, I'm not too worried about the back end of our defense, even though that is our weak spot, because they're not really strong at wide receiver. As long as they don't like good old faithful Randall Cobb do us dirty like he has in the past, uh, I I'd be so mad. I'd be so mad at Randall Cobb. <laughs> if Randall this rack, Randall Cobb's get back right game, man. Oh man, I can't stand that old bum. But um, grandpa, grandpa. <laughs> yeah, 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 but but for the most part, man, just we just we got to be strong up front, man. But we got to get that that flag on the first drive, man. Somebody got the Set somebody the got the. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So, but what y'all got to say about this, man? All right, move Rogers off his spot. Not, but you got to maintain your gap discipline. You know what I'm saying? Don't let him get in that running around, but. Keep get him off his spot, man, and you know, pressure him. You know, what I'm saying you ain't got to blitz him all the time, but just you know, pressure him. You know, because he's good against the blitz. So you you want to pressure him. You know, you can get him to the ground uh, without blitzing him. You know, what I'm saying, but you just get that keep that pressure on him. Let that D line get to work. You know, what I'm saying those two young fellas on the edge, and you know, Kaminsky up the middle. You know, maybe I like to see a little Isaiah Bugs. You know, what I'm saying, you know, what I'm saying getting that getting in his face. Mix some that zone coverage with the. Mix some of that zone and man coverage, but if you're gonna blitz, I was I would blitz more run than I would pass. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Run blitz. You know what I'm saying? Make sure you can stop those guys. So the Aaron Jones, that dude, and Dylan, they are beast. Uh, so you, well, I want to keep those guys under 100 yards. You know what I'm saying? Keep them under 100 yards. And here's the guy you said a guy that uh that you don't want to get loose is Randall Cobb. Mine is that damn tight end Tunyon. That dude, yeah. that, that dude can light it up. He's been, and luckily last game we played, Kirby Joseph was spying that dude, and that's it. Interception came on coverage against Tunyon. Keep Robert Tunyon, <laughs> that dude, keep him in your sights. Don't lose track of him. Just like I said about Cole Komet, that Robert Tunyon, he's one of those, he's one of those guys. And um, and when he goes out the game, you better watch the old veteran Mercedes Lewis because he'll do the same thing to you. But because we know we have our issues with covering those tight ends. So keep those tight ends covered, and uh, I think we'll be all right. What you got, Ella? 
Yeah, man. Um, use this opportunity to go ahead and, you know, of course, obviously in their season, but put that final nail in all of this bullshit for them. They've been going back and forth for the last few years in this season. You know, Aaron Rodgers and his team up and down. Just go ahead and put them out their misery, man. They're acting like a vampire. Just go ahead and put that stake in their chest. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That just be the final nail in their coffin. You pound them in the submission. Um, they got to do a lot to get their run game going on the offensive line because the offensive line can't just go forward. So they got to, you know, pull and do type other types of tricks and shit. One way to stop all that, punch them right in that shit. Like, as soon as they get to going, you just hit them right in the chest. You know what I'm saying? So that's what I expect us yeah. to do. Um, as you, you mentioned Isaiah Bug, him and uh, him and um, uh, Aline, they put some rocks in their pockets because, of course, you know, it's going to be one of them kind of games. Can't let it happen to you. You know what I'm saying? You y'all, it's on y'all. It's on it's on y'all up that middle. Um, uh, coach might call for a three linebacker game. Whichever three linebackers make it in the game, it's on y'all. Y'all gonna control the middle of that field. Time to step up. Everybody on defense, time to step up. Um, they've been asking Aaron Rodgers to run the ball. I mean, they've been asking to run the ball more, of course, because Aaron Rodgers had the year that he had. But even turning that mug over. So, you know, maybe we can get him in some down and distance and get him to turn it over to us like he did before. Uh, I think Aiden had a, a turnover on him and, uh, and Kirby, right? Uh, one yeah. thing I noticed Kirby about the Lions' two. defense. <laughs> yeah, but there two. you go. Um, the Lions, one thing I noticed about the Lions uh, recently especially, but even, I can't even say recently, but like they cover the trick play well. You know what I'm saying? Like if it's like they're moving our offensive lineman out. Or like you know what I'm saying? Like they're trying to sneak the – Tight end out on some, you know what I'm saying, on some, on some hoopla. It'd be somebody there. <laughs> so I kind of feel like, you know, maintain that, you know, maintain discipline. Don't let the game get out of control. And um, end it, man. Just end it. Be a total team punch in the face to the uh, to the Packers, man. Okay, one final thing. Um, I think that's going to make a difference is our youth because it's all about the ball get off uh, on that D-line. It's about getting getting off the ball and getting into the defender so that not only are you changing line of scrimmage, but you also letting the linebackers be able to move and flow before they can get to them. And um, I think that's the key, man. That That's really the key to the game, man, because a lot of times line linebackers do cleanup duty. Mm -hmm. um, you know, that's why they're leading tackles of the team all the time, man. They do cleanup duty. So we have to be explosive off the line of scrimmage we got to make contact with them, knock them off their mark, let linebackers flow, clean up. Man, I'm telling you right now, this should be – this actually is probably going to be a high-scoring game. I'm not even going to lie. It, this is probably going to be a high-scoring mm -hmm. game, man. So, we, we definitely have to get involved and we have to get physical on the, on the line, man. Yeah. So, that's all I had to add. Yeah, and I, I like the way that, like you said, um, LL, about the trick play. I like the way that Aiden Hutchinson is maintaining his, his gap discipline yeah. on the edges. You know, you look at that. Even even in James Houston, remember the, if you look at that one play we had against um uh, Chicago, where um all of a sudden you had Justin Fields out wide and he was looking to throw the ball, and next you know James Houston was in his face and tackling yeah. him, sacking him, and I'm like, okay, I'm liking that from the rookies because they're maintaining the edge, they're not falling for the roll out, those bootlegs, they're staying disciplined in their gaps yeah. and in the face of the quarterback, and de and Green, that's one of Green Green Bay staple with, with Aaron Rodgers rolling him out and getting him out in space where he could throw the ball. So keep doing that, people. Hey, tune in to hear what LL and myself had to say about this topic. Go ahead and tune into the full version of today's Lunchtime Detroit Lions Talk. Back a couple of videos, man. You're already on the channel, so go ahead, man, and click back a couple of videos and watch the full version of the show to see what we had to say about this topic.